Born from Reed's bus. Reed's, so. uh, <laughs> Reed's doing a little stripping out. You guys know this part of it. This is uh, normally a two-man job, but I was asking Reed, I was like, how on earth did you get all these things out with one person? So Reed actually is a magician. And uh, he has go-go gadget arms that go into the bus. That's right. Actually, I'm just kidding. But we'll show you exactly how it does it. Give us a little demonstration here because nobody knows how to do this. Take out. Okay. You have these little levers on the back oh, side. Wait, hang on. Wait, let me get my uh, lunch money first. Oh, someone lost their lunch Thanks. money. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just put it in your pocket? Well, it's not my dollar, it's yours. But you found it. True. So you take these little levers, and the seat pops right off. Let me throw that out. Right. Then, with an extension, I don't pack, so it's really easy. You don't have to get underneath at all. You literally come over here, and just, this thing zip right out. Yep. And these two. You hear them drop in a minute. I'm lifting up, right? Let me get upward oh, look force. at that. So he's holding the nut. Yeah, I see that. Look at that. One person job. One person job. Now, this is not going to work on everybody who buys a rusty bus, just FYI. Oh, well. With enough force. <laughs> So, what you do here, you just break them loose a little bit. And what I've been doing, you can actually just lean against it towards the back. Yep. See it coming up? Yep. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, one person job. He's holding, uh, these are flange bolts, I'm guessing they're flange nuts on the other side, so they grip into the metal. That's how he's getting them loose. Would you look at that? It's the easiest. Reed's making quick work of these uh, seats here. Great uh, uh, idea there, dude. There you go. And then you. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I've learned about this bus is that it doesn't really like cold weather starts. Uh, thank goodness for the Wabasso, otherwise, this thing would never start. In cold weather. All right, over the past couple days, I did some unexciting things. <clears throat> Changed the uh, oil oil filter, and also went ahead and did the transmission filters, plural, there's two. And I got this uh, Allison transmission stuff. Guess how much this stuff cost? <laughs> five gallon pail. It's gonna take almost all of the five gallons. It's a special TES 295, that is what it calls for. Well, about $50 a gallon. But O'Reilly's does a uh, price match with uh, any internet, you know, uh, retailer, so got it for $220. I know what you're thinking. Ouch, that's expensive. You got Reed help me out on the final last day here. Let's go take a peek at the bathroom. It is completely finished. Well, it looks like a prison. Well, we still got to install the handles, no big deal, and the, the drain, and obviously missing the toilet, but as far as the construction part of it is all done. Just got to add some caulking, and uh, and we're good to go. Yep. <laughs> job, job well done, sir. Okay, thank you. Guys, I'm leaving. No! <laughs> it's okay. We'll
We'll see each other on the road. We'll see each Bring other again. Bring it in for again. a group hug. Group hug. Group hug. It was awesome you getting to know you. They're getting to stay with you for like a week. Yeah. Likewise. We're basically Crazy. best friends now. Yeah. But honestly, I feel I, it's weird. I feel like we've been friends much longer than I know. like. I, I but that's how it is when you meet other YouTubers. It's like yeah. Everybody it's just, just normal. understands yep. and gets yeah. it. So exactly. It's been awesome time. Safe travels. And Thank you. You guys are gonna be painting the bus yeah, there. See yeah. You again. Yeah. Red. Red. Tractor red. I'm super excited to see the final product. <laughs> yeah, well thanks. Instead of like the gray and the yellow and everything, right. it's going to look super Multicolored, cool. I know. Yeah, it's excited. been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Yes, yes. likewise. I'm glad you guys, you randomly hit me up and, and asked to stay at his house. Hey, remember, his house is your house. <laughs> oh, I know. So, I, I'm not sure if I exactly explained it uh, good enough, but so they were traveling in this and then they come over and then before I know it Reed is like hey take my spare car so after the interview on it's your Mr. channel White. we switched vehicles so. I know I built a bed frame in the back and we just got our mattress in today and come over to got love to see that part <laughs> Seriously, yeah, that was that was I mean uh, uh, Built out a suburban in a day yeah. yep. For like under 100 bucks. bucks. Yeah, I think it's uh, like a hundred and <laughs> Or two hundred and forty dollars for everything. That's great, including a mattress, right? Yeah, mattress yeah. and frame, everything. That's yeah. wild. And the star of the show, bring it in. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for the bathroom. Yes. Thank you for making Miles because Miles then made part of my bathroom. Yes. And yeah, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you possibly soon. Yeah, you will. Okay. I'll be down there. I'm telling you, I, you may, I may bring Jen. Bring her. If I can talk her into doing the mattress on the bus. As long as she brings her uh, a slow cooker and green chili. There you go. <laughs> All right, got a little departure gift. Schutzingle. Schutzingle schoolie if you want to see what Reed is up to. Reed, I'll see you in a week. I hope. You will. Dude, you're amazing. Thank you so much. No problem. Honestly, I, can't know, thank you I enough. I should be thanking you. you. What you've done for me and my family, I... No amount of money or gratitude could possibly make up for Well, it. thanks. I just kind of pointed you in the right direction and found you uh, your next home on wheels. So There we go. It was really... Did you, did you show everyone what it looks like inside? Oh, yeah. yeah. Reed already stripped it out. So, 40-footer, like I said before in a previous video, 2010. Bluebird All-American with an 8.3 Cummins. Remanufactured engine with 11,000 miles on it. I'd say that was a pretty good deal. Very good deal. Yeah. Thank so, you. Um, thank, thank you for Joe everything. Up in Cheyenne. Oh, that's right. For not uh, pistol whipping you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys don't know about that story, but if you meet me in person, and ask me about that story. It's hilarious. I crack up. <laughs> well, we loaded the uh, bus up. It looks like I got more stuff than I did before. That might be true. Oh, well, this is also kind of a uh, a little bit quicker of a getaway than from Colorado Custom Coachworks. So I'm just hoping I didn't leave anything under the bus. We'll find out real quick. So far, so good. Transmission is incredibly smooth. Very, very glad I made the change before heading out of town. Anytime I go on very long trips, uh, I was kind of thinking in my mind, like, all right, what could go wrong? What can I replace? What needs to be fixed? Or what needs some attention? Uh, and, uh, you know, I gotta say, I really, really, really love traveling, being on the road, uh, you know, being uh, kind of, well, I was in three locations building the bus so far, and uh, I'm so antsy to hit the road, so uh, it's, you know, just something in my blood. I can feel a little cooped up if I'm, uh, if I'm not <laughs> on the move, you know? So. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to do a two-day um, driving marathon. <laughs> uh, I don't really anticipate stopping that much, so if I have some, uh, some thoughts to share, I will. Otherwise, I'm going to blast through a little pit stop in Albuquerque with uh, some of you may have seen before. Like I said, we're going to jump around a bit because this, uh, this is kind of a marathon, a sprint. But actually, I stopped in Albuquerque to see Claire Bear. Claire Bear is here. She's alive and well. <laughs> and also, you guys Claire know Bear Dean, the schoolie. He just showed up. I, I took like the most epic nap. I didn't sleep well uh, enough the past couple nights. For some reason, I thought his bus was smaller than mine, but it actually almost looks the same size or bigger. But anyways, so here's the update. 
Uh, I ordered two uh, carrier bearings. If you guys are mechanics, you know what that is. If you guys aren't, I ordered two parts. I'm picking them up tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up some flooring tomorrow and uh, get to the uh, van build starts today. I'll get there tomorrow. No big deal. It's still like a 12 hour drive, so, um, you know, just gonna play it safe, you know? And also, Claire started a channel, so I'll put a link down below if you wanna see what Claire's been up to. Um, she's cranking out, I don't know, how many videos you got, four, five? Three, four. Okay, so if you guys wanna keep up with Claire and what she's doing, like I said, I'll put a link right in below. Everybody can, everybody can follow along her, her journey. Getting yeah. warm out here. And Dean, let's, can we see your bus? Shut up. <laughs> Dean just did a remodel, so let's take a peek at Dean's bus. Oh. All right, so everything looks good. the same here. Dean have cushions ever. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's got cushions. Yeah. All right, so all Dean went with uh, a pine shiplap, right? Yep. Okay, because I was telling my horror stories about the uh, tongue and groove. It wasn't a lot of fun. And it ended up being cheaper too. So really, in tongue and groove. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, redid yeah, the front part. That looks lighting. cool. Whoa, you got the same lights as I got. Yeah, I got those lights and still. You get soft white or bright white? Uh, it's the soft, but then those. I have still my orange, you know, light yeah. things. And then I've got lights in there. Oh, fun. It's a TV if you couldn't tell. Yeah, that's cool. So, Dean, uh, Dean. Speakers up front. Why are you going east? What, what, why all the upgrades? Where are you going? All because of Navigation Nowhere Michael. We all know who he is. <laughs> He's been begging me to come to New York. I didn't go there, and now they're saying go down to Florida, so I'm going there. Mm -hmm. It's only twice as far as, or as just as far as going up to Alaska for me. So. Oh wow, yeah, that's true. Coast that's to coast. a lot of miles. And yeah. Um, very solid, very it's solid ceiling. Judgment. Yeah, this is so my. I'm having issues. Well, not issues, but just the nature of the beast being very thin wood. My wood is already, you know curvy in some places and um, so Dean's is completely solid so if you guys are asking me hey what kind of wood do you use whatever all that stuff um, get a hold of the schoolie or just look at his remodel I'd recommend this I mean or just plan to duck a little bit yeah hang on how tall you are I'm 6'2 so it it's my yeah, head. yeah. I hit the I hit the roof here I too think we have, we're exactly the same height yeah we're, we're, we're similar height so Anyways, um, but yeah, it looks amazing, dude. I like the remodel. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the bedroom's so much better now. They have the oh yeah permanent bed, so much storage underneath. I can show you some of the, yeah. what's going on here. Like, I've got storage to us. You get to my water tanks under here. Yep. And then I have laundry one there. Oh, nice. So awesome to have. Blankets of camping gear go under there. Cool. And then just tons of storage underneath. So. Nice. I like this. Plus, what else did I do back This is very homey. That's it. Very homey. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah. All right. Two days of driving later, and I have arrived. Guys, this is just one part of this uh, <laughs> this whole this whole setup here. I'm parked right next to Steampunk Steve. Hopefully, I'm parked next to Bob Mondale. I don't know if that's his bus yet. Um, but yeah, this event is much much bigger than it used to be, and everybody's here for a good cause to donate their skills to somebody in need, basically. Anyways, let's jump into another video <laughs> right after this, because uh, I just, I literally slept outside on a cot. As you can see, my bus ain't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> 